Hey guys, it's Jared with Tech Toy TV, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Ecobee Smart Thermostat. Stay tuned. Tech Toy TV. Let's unbox this and see what's inside. Right off the bat, you'll see the Ecobee thermostat and the room sensor. And there's the thermostat there. Room sensor. There's a stand for your room sensor. It's kind of clear, so hopefully that shows up. And this is the power adapter if you do not have a C wire on your thermostat. Here is the wall plate if you need to cover where your existing thermostat is currently mounted. So you have your quick start guide, some Ecobee stickers, the labels for your existing thermostat wiring, and your instruction manual. That's what's included in the box. Let's get this installed and show you how it works. So this is our current thermostat. It's a very nice Honeywell touchscreen, but it doesn't have any smart features. We're gonna be using the stickers here that Ecobee includes, and we're gonna mark the wiring on our current thermostat. Our camera didn't pick up the Ecobee screen very well on the initial setup, so I wanted to walk you through that. The first screen you'll come to is the wiring diagram, which you'll confirm is correct. The next will ask questions about your HVAC system, like if you have a dehumidifier or a ventilator. Then you'll select your temperature reading preference of Fahrenheit or Celsius. On the next screen, you'll see the equipment configuration. It will attempt to automatically select what kind of heating and cooling you have, but if you need something, simply tap on the downward arrow next to the option and change it. Next, you'll get to name your thermostat. There's a list of default names, but you can choose one of your own liking as well. On the next screen, you'll select your indoor ideal temperature during the winter when the heating is on. Simply tap and drag your finger on the right-hand side of the screen to select the temperature. You'll also do the same for your ideal temperature in the summer when your air conditioning is running. After that, you'll ask what the current mode of your HVAC system is. This merely just tells the Ecobee what it should start at. The next screen will have you enable or disable Smart Home and Away, which overrides any settings if it detects that you're home during an away period or vice versa. After that, it's time to configure your Wi-Fi settings. I found this was most easiestly done with your iPhone or another iOS device. It will simply connect directly to the Ecobee thermostat and relay all of your network settings. Following that, you'll confirm things like date and time. And the next step is connecting the Ecobee thermostat to your smartphone by linking the thermostat to your Ecobee account. To do this, your thermostat will generate a registration code and you'll need to enter that code in the Ecobee app. Once you've opened the app, click register at the bottom of the screen and follow the prompts. You'll be asked to enter things like your first and last name, your email address, and set up a password for your account. You'll be asked whether or not to have the weather optimize your heating and cooling by toggling the switch in the upper right corner, as well as you'll be asked if you'd like to enable Home IQ, which is a feature that tracks your usage and provides energy reports. Next, you'll enter in information about your house, like the square footage, the number of floors, and when your house was built. None of this is required, but some of the fields are if you want to enable Home IQ and have it work efficiently. Congratulations, you've now successfully set up your Ecobee thermostat and can begin using it with your phone or other smart devices. So let's talk about Ecobee and what sets it apart from your everyday thermostat. One of the big differences is room sensors. Your typical average thermostat will have a sensor on the unit and it's usually in your hallway. And this can be an issue because if your bedroom is 73 degrees, but the hallway is 70 and you have the thermostat set to 70, it's not going to cut on to make sure you're comfortable. With Ecobee, you have these room sensors and you can place these anywhere in your home and Ecobee will read the temperature of the room as well as know if you're in the room or not because it has an occupancy sensor. Now, what this will do is Ecobee will make sure that whatever room you're in 
is at the temperature that you have set on the thermostat. Therefore, you're comfortable no matter where you are in your home. Ecobee can help you save on energy bills. Typically, Ecobee can help you save about 23% off your energy costs. Ecobee includes Home IQ, which will show your energy savings as well as give you tips on how to run even smarter. You can control your thermostat from anywhere. Ecobee works with your phone, your tablet, your computer, and it's integrating into HomeKit as well as works with Alexa, Siri, and Google Assistant. Ecobee will work with almost any HVAC system, including gas, oil, and electric. It has dual fuel support. It also has support for accessories such as a humidifier, a dehumidifier, or a ventilator. So I wanted to show you guys that we did connect the Ecobee to our smart assistants, both Siri and So let's show you those working now. What's the Ecobee set to? The Ecobee temperature is 71 degrees. Set Ecobee to 72 degrees. The heat's set to 72. What's the temperature in my home? The temperatures in my home are at 71 and 72 degrees Fahrenheit. And so it showed the temperature of each sensor there when I asked Siri, set the temperature to 72 degrees. Okay, I set the Echo Bee to 72 degrees Fahrenheit. It's been about two weeks since we installed the Echo Bee and things have been going smoothly. The only issue we encountered was with the room sensor placement. We did have to move it a bit closer as it was dropping connection, but once we moved the sensor closer to the thermostat, everything was smooth sailing. If you're in the market for a smart thermostat, I definitely recommend checking out the Echo Bee line of products. So that's going to about do it for this review. If you like this video, make sure to hit us with that thumbs up. And as always, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. If you're already subscribed, make sure to hit the bell icon down below so you'll be notified each time we upload a new video to Tech Toy TV. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Say it with me. Ecobee. Okay, good job, Jared. Thanks for watching and checking out Tech Toy TV. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to share and hit that like button. To stay in the loop for future videos, click the subscribe button. Check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Till next time.